Hey guys, Dakara here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go into season 9 bloopers for you and also discuss my thoughts and opinions on season 9 in general, maybe some predictions for season 10. But first, let's watch the gag reel. More like an unfriendly rivalry. <laughs> A guy named Slim Jim Morgan. Like Wayne, he was pretty well known in the competitive eating circuit. Was that a, a big deal around here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you betcha. Folks take it real seriously. She's dying to laugh. Sorry. <laughs> You're it's too laughing. much. Me? Oh, yeah, obviously. <sighs> Stupid. Uh, 19, take two. <laughs> <laughs> Going down. Ugh. Squirrel. <laughs> With wings. <laughs> yes, Queen Bee! I'm Jodie as well! Gotcha! It's not turned out quite like that. That's a Tron. What is that line? <laughs> what do we do now? Oh, you don't do jack. <laughs> Alright. Same with me, we'll head to the hospital. See? <laughs> if anyone had told me in drama school that this is what it was gonna be like. I would have went to quit. drama school. I did. I should. You don't. If you don't want my help, then I will follow Josiah to Colorado. I have to do something, Dean. <laughs> if you don't want my help, then I will follow Josiah's trail to Colorado. I have to. Do His accent oh, changed. Say Colorado. This is so frustrating. I don't like working with you. Today. <laughs> Just as an aside. You, you lie. Say, you love it. I can say. Shut up. We have every right to. No, you don't. <laughs> Something funny? Sam? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lock it up. This is not What's so funny, me. Sam? <laughs> <laughs> Your brother's laughing at this, and you were just giving us the business. Listen, you need to give him the business. Pills. You guys are really All right, handsome. And we're working together. <laughs> Shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say that I see how hard life can be. Oh, it's hard. I mean, it barely shows, but I know it's hard. 100%. <laughs> Don't make me lick your face. You want to lick your face? I need your help, brother. I got it! Dean always called me his Gaston. I still do. <laughs> There's no way in hell he'd say yes to being possessed by anything. Yeah! I'm not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I love these guys so much. You have no idea. Yes, more of the crew. You know what, Robin? Like, I swear to God. Why can't I work on this show, though? Why did I find this show so late in life? Is my first question, actually. <laughs> because I'm the part of Sam that knows actual <laughs> And I think maybe that's because... Oh, what Jim! I think it's because of <laughs> Look, I know! I know <laughs> I shit myself! Maybe that's because... <laughs> Are you dead? Because I am. And I think I need a nap. <laughs> I got a cut. Ask a lot of questions. And if she says she's got a Chinese chair, you call me. I'm coming over. <laughs> what? Got it. If she has a Chinese chair, call me. I must be. I'm... I must be really innocent because right? I have no clue what that is. You talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> and I will call you, you f Oh, Grandad. Hey, son of a bitch. Ah. Grandad, don't swear like that. You and Sam? I am Sam. Your brother, your, uh, you know, that other dude. <laughs> they came to him, I forgot the f <laughs> <laughs> Unless you have rumps. rumps I love when the elder generation swear. <laughs> Hey guys, who am I? <laughs> 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 
going two beats after that. Just give me a slow death. Well, that's not what I want. <laughs> Hello, Rally. guys. Hello, Wolf. Ah, oh, you can. <laughs> you alright? Are you having a seizure? Peace. <laughs> Hold on there, Crowley. <laughs> I wish. Bless you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> did I or did I not keep my end of the bargain the other night? Quite brilliantly. Hold on. If I go any higher, I think I'll bust a, oh, yeah. I'll bust a nut. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, boss? I didn't have any. Well, I took him down. He bit me in the process. Yeah, why didn't you call one of us? Where's your process? Uh, until you... That Tennessee for taint? That little space between the... Yeah, yeah. I think that's the process. I can't... I, I, I cannot, I cannot with these process. two. Damn it. Okay, yeah, so... No! No, D! <laughs> I hate you. Seeing Dean do that, I mean, obviously, I it's, Jer it's Jensen, but still. What? I didn't understand that. If he stays, I wouldn't even leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Oh, if I could go back in time and spend any sort of time on that set would be goals. <laughs> Everyone's just loving life there. Yeah, because the highlight really? is not wrong. I dig it. Eight plus gag material. Yes. Ah, I think that's the best one we've ever had. I'm just saying. Those bloopers were amazing. I loved that. I love the energy and just the, like the whole atmosphere on set just seems the best. I love the cast, the crew, everything. And yeah, like I say, I just wish that I found the show earlier. That's like my one regret. Then I guess if I did, then maybe this whole channel and journey that I'm going on with you guys wouldn't be happening. You know, the butterfly effect and all the rest of it. But yeah, it's so much fun seeing a, a peek behind the scenes. Again, I want to shout out Ash for making those convention videos like the edit for me to react to because seeing that as well it just emphasizes the the love that these guys have for each other like in real life as well as on the show and it's just great to see it's so much fun okay so on to season nine this was a wild ride for me and especially the ending of that season it just blew my mind i didn't expect it there's no way i could have predicted it it was just un real loved it i'm not really sure how they're gonna pursue this whole dean being a demon thing it scares me but i'm so excited to find out how it happens in the way that they choose to do it i guess before i go on about the ending let's just break down what i've seen so far in supernatural obviously i've reacted to the road so far over on my patreon and that clip at the beginning of the finale just proves how much has happened in this season. It's crazy. Exploring Abaddon was one of my highlights, 100%. I just think that character had so much going for her. She was extremely powerful. She looked amazing. She was so fierce. She had a great backstory. She linked to the boys prior to the boys even being born, which is insane. She then tried to take over Crowley's role in Hell and did it quite successfully as well, obviously until Dean has stepped in at the very end of the season. But she was doing a good job at taking over and making Crowley 
really doubt himself because so far we don't really see that Crowley is extremely confident himself. He's very arrogant, just sure of himself, isn't he, Crowley? So seeing those insecurities and doubts creep in due to her was just amazing to see. And I just found her captivating, I really did. So seeing her go is really upsetting. I, I would have liked to see more of her, but at the same time, I think that she had a really good end as well. Linked to the Mark of Cain and Dean with the first blade. Yeah, it was fantastic and I loved it. I've just got to say, obviously this breakdown, I'm going to be flitting about all over the place because what I really should have done is write my thoughts down, but I'm not. I'm just winging it because that's the professional that I am. Okay, so finding out that the boys are men of letters and legacies and then finding out bits of information regarding the men of letters prior to them finding out is always amazing to me. So we had like the Wizard of Oz story in there, which was really fun. Getting Charlie involved, always love seeing Charlie, so that's great. And then finding out Henry's relationship with Abaddon. Well, it, it wasn't Abaddon, was it? It was, is it Josie before? All these pieces of the puzzle are finally slotting into place and I love that. And I hope it continues over in season 10 as well because so much happened prior to the boys being here and we only know little tiny snippets of it so yeah always behind finding out more about that and what's charlie been doing over in oz like is she gonna return and bring dorothy with her maybe that'd be amazing kaz has been through the ringer as well this season what a shocker he's always really going through it he's always having a tough time of it and this season was no different moments that stand out for me was when Dean turned Kaz away when he was in the bunker because of Gadriel. Well, it was Zeke at the time, but Kaz had been through so much already and he fought and fought and fought, finally got to that bunker and then Dean just turned him away and it was just crushing to see that, really was. And I know that Dean didn't want to do it, he just had to because obviously he was protecting Sam, but they, they come above and beyond that. And then there was a moment of doubt where Metatron was manipulating the situation to make it look like Kaz was sending all of these angels to commit suicide and kill innocent people. Dean sort of said, well, it wouldn't be a surprise that you, you have done these sorts of things before, ouch. But then when Kaz saved him over many, hearing Dean say that to him, that he believes that it wasn't Kaz's doing. Oh God, that, that little moment, I just found it so precious. I think Kaz needed that a lot and it was great to see. And obviously Kaz has Metatron now. Another big point of this season was obviously Sam being taken over by Zeke and Gadriel and the whole brothers divide that we explored. And I know that some people find this season particularly hard to watch because of that and seeing the, the feud between the boys. And I totally understand. I think for me, I enjoyed the ex exploration because I liked the discussions that were brought up because of that. The debates and who was in the right, who was in the wrong. Will the boys ever forgive each other for it? Does Sam really mean what he says when he wouldn't have done the same thing if it, if the roles were reversed. Would Dean be a demon if Sam didn't blame him for letting Zeke possess him? Like all of these things, it was such a heavy season packed into such few episodes and it was just fantastic. And yeah, another moment obviously was Dean becoming a demon at the very end. Still just saying that out loud, it just scares me. But it was really well written though and the twist like I cannot express enough how much shock I felt when I saw that for that first time like I couldn't find words I mean you guys saw it but it, it just blew my mind it really did going into season 10 now I'm wondering if Crowley and Dean will grow closer because they can relate on the whole demon thing and maybe Crowley can become some sort of tutor to Dean or is Dean just gonna push him further away and maybe turn on Crowley for what he has become I don't know like I have so many thoughts and how can this be reversed can it be reversed are we gonna have a demon Dean for the rest of the show what if that's even a thing you can't they're not gonna change the actor though at least that I know it's like with Ruby when the actress changed but that's not gonna happen with Dean because I know that Jensen is in the final season. I think I know that. Yeah, I'm sure someone would have probably told told me otherwise if he wasn't if, if he was no longer in the show. And again, no one told me about Bobby was no longer in the show. Oh my god, it, I, I don't know. 
but I love that so please please no spoilers in the comments I love not knowing I love just naturally finding out what happens in the show as and when I see it and thank you to everyone for holding back on the spoilers and a special shout out to Toasted Toad for moderating my supernatural videos huge shout out to you because I'm sure many people would have probably accidentally spoiled some major stuff so I want to thank you for that I digress as always what else happened in this season Kevin we lost Kevin a really significant character to the show and it hurt like ugh, that was emotional especially because it was at Sam's hands obviously not really Sam but he remembers doing that because of Gadriel and the chat that Kevin had with his mum ouch and the boys as well I'll never forget Kevin saying you guys need to just solve this now I'm dead and I don't want you to have regrets like how I feel right now please just work on this and then Sam agreeing yeah seconds later when Kevin goes split second he's already left and that moment will stand out for me I don't know if that's just something little for most but I just yeah, that got to me for some reason. I loved exploring the whole Mark of Cain. I think it was a really interesting plot line. I want to know more about the the backstory behind the Mark and the effects and such. Maybe I'll go back and watch a few of those episodes because obviously I've only seen them once so it's hard to digest everything. But if I followed along obviously. But now he's a demon, is he gonna still have that Mark? Oh, I can hear my little boy crying. He's being looked after though. Yeah, now he's a demon. What happens to the Mark? Does the Mark die with him? Because he, I don't know. I do not know. Where's the blade as well? Who has that? Is that even gonna be a thing now? So many questions. Another thing that really stood out, that's all I'm gonna say this, this whole reaction. Another thing and another thing. But when Sam shouted, well, screamed Dean when he saw the blade slide in, oof, the emotion was real. The emotion was very, very real in that moment. You just felt it and in praying to the gods and to Crowley that he's gonna fix this. I just, I cannot wait to see how Sam is gonna react to finding out that his brother is now a demon. Is Sam gonna maybe feel some sort of regret or over the way he's handled the whole possession thing? The betrayal, the heavy betrayal that Dean did. Because again, that was huge. Letting someone take over Sam's body without Sam being in control of it. And then when he decides that he wants to pass and no longer be in this world, to decide that for him as well. Everything was just a lot. This season was an unforgettable one, I think. And a few people have said that season 10 is even better, so I don't know. I literally don't know, I'm just excited. To those that watched in real time, I salute you because it must be extremely painful to wait all of those months to find out all of these questions that I'm asking myself right now. But luckily I only have to wait one week because I'll be watching it at the end of this week. So not too bad for me, but even then it hurts. So <sighs> shout out to all of you that survived that. I'm impressed. <laughs> this show has been unreal. I'm sure I could chat for so much more about everything that's happened this season. Like Magnus, for instance, a huge character there as well with a lot of knowledge and powerful possessions. Dean took him out <laughs> instantly. Crowley's son, Crowley drinking demon blood and having humanity into him as well, showing those feelings and emotions. Metatron with his evil, dastardly ways. Gadriel taking himself out in the hopes that it will help the boys to solve the issue further down the line. So much happened. So much. What a season. And I want to thank each and every one of you guys for following my journey this far, for subscribing as well. I might, can't thank you enough. And I'm hoping that you will join me for season 10 because I've got a sneaky feeling that it's gonna be a really, really big season and I just cannot wait to dive into it. To all those over on my Patreon that have supported me through this, thank you so much, especially with all my tier changes that I'm enforcing on June 1st as well. Everyone's just been so supportive and really understanding of my situation and I just I can't thank you enough, basically. 
thank you thank you thank you and i hope that the future is bright and we can just keep expanding this community that we have here it's such a good community everyone's so friendly as well and i love talking supernatural with you guys and obviously now i'm going to be introducing lucifer to my reactions as well i want to thank you for being on board with that as well i cannot wait to see what's in store for me thanks everyone for watching this reaction and i hope to see you all again soon for another video see you for season 10 guys bye